Welcome to another episode of TFB TV. Today, we are at Bisley Shooting Center, and I have a special guest on the program, who is Callum from English Shooting, a YouTube channel based in the UK. Uh, so, contrary to popular belief, we can own firearms within the UK. Uh, most of the guns that are down here today will be taken home, locked up in safes uh, within the shooter's house. Homes, we can come to an approved range and shoot them. We can go out on the field and control vermin with them for a variety of different reasons. Um, going into the actual laws, uh, there's two main items with shooting in the UK. There's your firearm certificate and there's your shotgun certificate. And they are two separate licenses and one will allow you to own shotguns and one will allow you to own firearms. Uh, a quite strange example uh, is the shotgun. Uh, these are both Stoger M3000s, they're both semi-automatic 12 gauge shotguns, but the one in front is a shotgun that goes on an SGC, a shotgun certificate, and the one behind is actually a firearm and goes on an FAC, a firearm certificate. Uh, the reason is purely down to capacity. Mm -hmm. uh, shotguns are limited to a two plus one. So you can have over and under, side by side, single shot, semi-automatics, pump actions on a shotgun certificate, but they have to be limited to a two plus one capacity. As soon as you go over that and you want larger capacities for the likes of three guns and, and multi-gun competitions, uh, then that's a firearm. Uh, and that needs to go on a firearm certificate uh, and a firearm certificate can be a lot harder to to get and that's down to the reasons for why you want and why you need the the firearms or the shotguns within the uk a shotgun certificate will be granted as long as there's no reason for the police not to so it's actually the onus is on the police to provide a reason why you're not suitable mm -hmm. whereas with a firearm anything that goes on a firearm certificate you need to justify every single gun mm -hmm. so if they give you permission for a, a 2-2 rifle just because you've got permission for one doesn't mean you can go out and buy another two mm -hmm. you need what we, we call our slots on our licenses mm -hmm. so you get your firearm certificate you ask for the guns that you want and then they will put that on your license you go to a shop, they see that you've got that slot, and they put it on your license for you. Very well. Um, so this will be on somebody's uh, license under a slot, um, and it is a firearm. In terms of the UK law, this is a firearm, and that's a shotgun. Gotcha. Obviously, firearm certificates cover more traditional firearms, like rifles and long barrel pistols. Mm -hmm. um, again, another, um, well, it's not a misconception, but people are quite right to believe that pistols are generally banned within the UK. Mm -hmm. uh, the way that we still run multi-gun and three-gun competitions using pistols is with long barrel pistols. So let me pause you there. I saw this earlier and this is the first time I've seen one of these, but it's that's the oddest contraption and it's kind of like, this is a, essentially this is the UK's version of the SIG brace. The way to simplify our laws uh, is we have two types of guns on a, on a firearm basically you have a long gun and a short gun short guns are banned within the uk or they can't be owned under a firearm certificate you need special licenses for manufacturers police and all that sort of stuff uh, so a long gun is defined of, of anything that has a barrel 12 inches or longer and a total length of 24 inches and longer mm -hmm. if it conforms to, to those lengths mm -hmm. then it's a rifle it can be owned under a, an FAC a firearm certificate mm -hmm. um, and can be used this as you can see has a 12 inch barrel and it's got an overall length of over 24 uh, it is classed as a long barrel pistol but really as the law is live uh, as is written it's a rifle or a yeah. carbine. And then over here we have what, a, this is yours, this is a 2-2. Yes. Uh, Semi-automatic mm -hmm. rifle and you use this in your three gun matches? Yes. Or? Okay. Uh, so I use it for general sort of plinking down the range or for multi-gun and three gun matches. Okay. Um, it's the Smith & Wesson 1522, a very popular, very reliable uh, rifle. It's very popular within the UK. It's sort of the go-to semi-automatic rifle um, mm -hmm. and completely legal within the UK. Uh, again, a misconception is that all semi-automatics are banned. The stipulation is all uh, semi-automatic full bore 
um, action. So, so got, full bore is not like high power in the states. We're talking starting at the two two three level. Yes. No, okay. Any anything that is center fire, because obviously a lot of people want to be able to shoot two two three and three oh eight in the AR fifteen platform. We've sort of uh, got around that by not having semi automatics, but by having sort of manually charged rifles mm -hmm. uh, leading to the straight pull. That's probably the most common mechanism that allows us to have a full bore. Uh, center fire rifle mm -hmm. um, legally within the UK and, and all it is is it's a standard AR-15 it will take no spec parts but it will have a charging handle on the side and you just charge it after every shot. There's a big thing with cap and ball with black powder stuff can you explain that? Yes uh, so with black powder if something's cap and ball and, and deemed as black powder then it doesn't come under the length requirement so we can own black powder pistols what this has led to is um, modern day companies making and modifying modern revolvers mm -hmm. so you have the uh, smith and wesson uh, 686 uh, they can get imported over here they're completely modified to be a black powder pistol mm -hmm. that way you can own one standard length but obviously you have to manually fill it and, and charge each each cylinder thanks very much for watching guys we really appreciate your viewership while i still got you guys on camera here i really want to have a shout out to proxy bid they are a firearms auction website and they sponsor our channel and they really help bring videos like this to you guys and really keep up the great content here in addition i really want to thank Callum here because without him this video would not have been possible and showing us around and showing the different laws and stuff in the uk until next time